Okay. Greetings, everybody. I'm excited to be talking to one of my favorite persons, and that is none other than my nephew, Larry Clark, who is uh, a, a producer, a recording artist, singer, musician, and very gifted and anointed by God. Oh, thank you, Auntie. So sweet. You're welcome. I love you. I love you too. All right, so let's go. So we're here to talk about his new project um, that we're all looking forward to hearing, and I guarantee you, if you get this project, it's gonna bless you. So Larry, tell me, <laughs> your mother, Denise Clark Bradford, played a, a very important part in your life. What effect did she have on you in your life? As you can tell, she wasted no time talking about mom right away. But um, <laughs> no, the, uh, the, how she influenced and contributed to what I'm doing today is, um, uh, well first, we have to tell the gener generation that's watching, they yeah. don't know, they used to see you, uh, Dorinda, I care, and I'm Jackie. Yeah. And thinking four is the Clark, all the Clark sisters. Right. But if you uh, search the internet and you know, is my living in vain project? And, uh, you brought, you the brought sunshine. The sunshine. And a lot, I saw somebody recently posting sincerely. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, She's sincerely. On the air. Yeah. But the one that she led is actually the title uh, of an album. Count it all joy. Count it all joy. Right. That's. Uh, that's that's uh, that's old school. That's yeah, old school. That's, that's 80s, true. right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, so anyway, my mother is Denise Clark of the Clark Sisters, and so uh, when I was young, as a child, um, when they were traveling together, uh, you know, seeing uh, her on television, I always tell this story, yeah. a fond memory. Uh, well, one was the, the the one that all ages could appreciate was when you all son of the Grammys. Yes. Uh, all five Clark sisters and grandma. That's right. The y'all uh, son of the Grammys. Uh, I want to say, wasn't it Hallelujah? It was Hallelujah. It was Hallelujah, and right. They only gave us eight minutes. Right. And we had on the long black gowns with the feathers. Oh, right, right, that, right That's right. what mama picked out. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, but, so, when I, watching, uh, you know, catching flights and being on television and, um, sound checks and you know all that stuff and photo shoots videos yes. you know uh that did kind of cultivate and prepare me for what i would to walk into and expect so uh and then you know there's a um one of the things that i really appreciate we're not gonna spend a long time on this segment because you know with the oh, family stuff we all day was um uh the spiritual journey that you all uh took on and what grandma was really impressing upon you all and watching because uh, you know one of the classic famous scenes of my mom you know this generation where it's out on the internet YouTube Facebook Instagram yeah. is uh, her playing the tambourine in the movie how, how uh, gospel. The movie gospel That's right. right and she yeah. she's uh they so funny they, t they froze her uh -huh. uh, when she d does this and her hair like turns into Right, it was flipped. Right, like a helicopter uh -huh. her, uh, in the movie. And, and I always tell the story that was amazing about that movie is that movie was released in movie theaters. That's true. That was amazing to go to the movie theater and see my family on the big screen. Right. Uh, that was crazy. Mm -hmm. and, you know, and, uh, and I, this is my last one too. Mm -hmm. Another one that got me that uh, really floored me by our family yeah. is um, uh, you all did a Sunny Delight commercial. That's true. And That's when that true. Sunny Delight commercial came out, I was a young child, and um, hearing you all on mainstream radio. Right. You know, that was crazy. Yeah, that was first I was like, time. oh my goodness, you know. Yeah, that was the first time we ever did a commercial. Yeah. And uh, put a little gospel touch to it, so. Right, right. So, that, so those, those are the moments that really, uh, when you have that feeling as a child that things that were common, you're mm -hmm. seeing your parent on that stage. Yes. You know, that's a, that's a, you know, people always say it's like out of body or some kind of weird. It's like, hey, you're mom. Yeah. Hey, you're there. That's right. You know, that's that, that, that weird, and especially as a, as a kid, you know, as an adult, mm -hmm. you can kind of process a little better, but right. you're still kind of in shock. But yeah. as a child, hearing you all sing that song, you're like, watching you all the Grammys. I went to school the following day with uh, Grammy paraphernalia. Oh, to, right, the, the, the uh, souvenir book and the, oh, wow. uh, what do they call them? <laughs> uh, 
the badges that they wear backstage, access mm -hmm. only, all that stuff. So anyway, yeah. but that's how uh, watching my mom with you all in that capacity prepared me for um, what I'm doing today. Praise God. Well, we're certainly grateful for uh, that opportunity and that you watched what was going on and uh, the sacrifices that we had to make and being ground rooted and grounded in the church, as you said, my mom, the late Dr. Maddie Moss Clark. From a boy to a man, God watched over me. That's why I give God the highest praise. Then you brought me back to life Hallelujah, hallelujah, Ooh, hallelujah You paid my price And now I've been born twice Hallelujah, Thank you. 